Hi, I'm Salte and I am here with PMC Supplies and I'm going to be showing you a couple of the different butane torches that we sell on our website, pmcsupplies.com, where we always offer free shipping. As you can see, I have two of the torches that we sell, the Micro Flame Butane Torch and the Max Flame Butane Torch. The Micro Flame Butane Torch we do show you in another video, our basic soldering kit. If you want to check that one out, you can do so as well. Microflame Butane Torch. It is perfect for really small work. It's very, very precise, and all of the torches have these little handy stands so you can keep it on there as you're working. When you first fill it with butane, you do want to let it settle for a little bit. Let the butane that it may have traveled into the air dissipate so that you don't uh, find yourself in a precarious situation. In front of me, I have my fireproof brick, which is the perfect surface for me to work on. On the back, you will see the ignition switch and the safety. With the safety switch, as you can see, try as I might, I am unable to ignite the torch while the safety is on. So we're gonna push that down. And now we're ready to ignite. And you just want to firmly press the ignition switch. So this flame is now on, but as you can see, I am still pressing on the ignition button. If I let this go, that flame is going to turn off. Just like that. This time I want it to stay on, so I'm going to press this button in while I am holding on the ignition switch. I will release both and the flame will stay on and I'm free to manipulate it and set it down. So my safety is off. Press this, hold them down at the same time and then release. So now my torch is lit, I can move around, I'm not pressing anything always being sure to exercise precaution and make sure that it's not pointing towards something that you don't want to burn. So I'm going to turn this off just by clicking the ignition again and everything releases. The safety turns back on and I'm just gonna be mindful not to actually touch the tip of the torch because it will be hot and it will burn you. So I'm gonna turn this back on. I'm gonna show you another switch on here which adjusts the flow of oxygen through the torch and can adjust the flame. There we go. Press this button to keep it on. Now while this is going, I can adjust this dial on top And as you restrict the flow of oxygen into the torch, you can see that the flame is changing to more of what you would see on a candle burning. And as I turn it more toward me, the flame is now slowly reducing in size, but increasing intensity. Because this torch is capable of producing such a small flame, it's really great for small, precise work, which I will show you now. But first, I'm gonna release this. Today I'm going to be making some fine silver jump rings using some fine silver wire, which we do sell at pmcsupplies.com. You can order it in different lengths or you can get it by the spool. And one handy trick that I have learned is you can grab a pencil or a pen and wrap your silver wire around it a couple times. Fine silver wire is really easy to bend, so you don't need to apply a ton of force. And I will scoot that off the end. And I have a pair of flush cutters. I'm just going to cut out one of my little spirals. And there. I have the perfect starting point to make a jump ring. The great thing about those flush cutters is that they give you a really flush cut, really flat. I place this right in the middle of my fire brick so that I can turn on my torch and get to work. I'm going to take my torch and heat up the metal and lock it all together. Again, I want to work continuously, so I'm going to press in this button and then release at the same time, so now this is going. When this is full, you have about 90 minutes of continuous use, and I'm just going to adjust the flame a little bit. That seems workable for me. So over my fireproof brick, I'm just going to pass around a circle. So now my jump ring is starting to turn a golden color. I'm gonna let that sit for a second, turn off my torch by pressing the ignition switch and setting this aside. 
on my stand and remembering that that tip is going to be very hot, so we'll just leave that over there. You wanna let your jump ring cool down. You don't wanna just pick that up because it's probably hot too. Because it has this handy stand, you don't have to really worry about that tip being very hot and placing it down on the table. It can cool safely in the upright position out of the way and not touching anything. Now that I've waited a couple of minutes for that to cool down, I can pick it up. Perfect. My little jump ring. The Max Flame Butane Torch, which is slightly bigger than the Micro Flame Butane Torch. It does have the same temperature output, but does have a larger flame. Uh, both these are capable of 2450 degrees Fahrenheit. We also have the Jumbo Max Flame Butane Torch. And if you can tell by the name, it's bigger. It's Jumbo. This one has a much bigger nozzle over here, so it will produce a much bigger flame, and it is capable of 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. And all of these, the Jumbo, the Max, and the Microflame are available on pmcsupplies.com, as always, with free shipping. Check back for future videos, and make sure you like us on Facebook and on Instagram, and give a thumbs up to this video.